I welcome you all here today for this World Environment Day. It is celebrated on June 5th every year. Actually, this World Environment Day was established in the year 1972 as the outcome of United Nations Stockholm Conference on Human Environment. The first Environment Day was celebrated in 1973, June 5th. World Environment Day 2023 is time to beat plastic pollution and is a reminder that people's action on plastic pollution matters. The steps government and businesses are taking to tackle plastic pollution are the consequence of this action. Now it is time for us to take note of the virtual pledge available in the My Government portal which has the provision to take the pledge and download the certificate. Now I call upon Dr. Prasida Unikrishnan, Assistant Director to share something about the portal. For Environment Initiative, the Lifestyle for Environment Initiative was launched by the Government of India by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji in November, uh, in the, in November 20, 20 uh, one, 2022 and as a part of this initiative uh, the life for environment uh, platform was launched by the government of India and there is a life uh, lifestyle for environment pledge which each one of us has to take I took this pledge in the morning itself uh, as per this pledge we have to enter our details like our phone number like our email ID once you enter your details, uh, you will get an OTP and you, have, you will get the pledge. I think the pledge will be read out by uh, only sir. So I am not going into the details about the pledge. In fact, uh, this uh, lifestyle for environment was introduced to call upon the global community of individuals and institutions uh, to take action or it was initiated as a mass movement uh, to combat uh, uh, environmental issues. According to this, now there is also a life 21 days challenge also because we uh, have to form a habit to form out. We have to form out. So, life 21 day challenge. We have to take one small initiative every day. 21 days, where we have to take one small initiative. like. The first day if you think that now onwards I will only buy vegetables in a cloth cover. That is your first initiative. Uh, second initiative what you can take in, on the second day you can think of some other initiative like I will try for reduction of plastic use in my house. And in the second day. And in the second day you have to uh, initiate small small things or small small corrections in your life. So this will go a long way in creating a bright future for ourselves as well as for the environment. So this is a life, life 21 day challenge which is also launched by the government of India which we all can take benefit of. So I request all who are present here to kindly uh, Google the lifestyle lifestyle for environment the Google uh, pledge open now. A pledge in culture and you can the certificate to get to. You know the lifestyle I take this pledge in the Parnapa in the certificate in the kitty. I am a OTP to mobile number to some key certificate in the kitty. So I request all to kindly uh, take this pledge uh, today itself. Thank you all. Now I request my colleague Dr. Viti Jalja Kumari to kindly speak more about the environmental issues. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. It's very nice to gather here because it's a very important day for us. The new world is facing a big challenge. Definitely that big challenge is environmental challenges. Because every day from 1973 onwards in schools, in communities and in other NGOs, everywhere in the world we are celebrating environmental day as uh, uh, June 5th as environmental day. But our needs are very less to contribute to the Mother Earth, our needs are very less, I think. 
as all, all of you know we have written a lot practical sessions in the moo course environmental sustainable development course yeah, and uh, all over the world students are studying it and we have unesco appreciation also in this regard but what we are doing in our daily life that is an important thing i am very i have uh, a privilege to share with you that as a person i have done small small things in my life in my uh, house itself that i want to tell you now uh, my house is an energy uh, sufficient efficient house because i have installed a 5 kilowatt uh, solar system so i am um, producing electricity uh, in all aspects means the whole utility uh, materials or utility equipments are using uh, running with the produce the electricity of my own home and the rest of the thing i am giving to uh, kerala state electricity board and uh, electricity board or kerala government has some subsidy uh, schemes anarch is providing Ker kerala state electricity board is also giving uh, that opportunity i don't know how many people are utilizing it nowadays uh, and uh, we can reduce the temperature on the roof also wherever the solar panel has been installed underneath a cooling effect is there that is also a protection to our home and uh, i have one uh, electricity electric vehicle that is also zero emission uh, vehicle i think everybody can do like that and uh, the day on which i have started my life in the new house on that day itself i have installed a pipe compost a 10 inch to pipes i have installed and every day all the uh, degradable waste are put inside and when it is filled it will be closed for another 3 six, three months and the next pipe will be utilized and it will become naturally uh, a compost and that compost can be utilized for uh, nurturing our plants and uh, so many and if we are utilizing it for uh, developing our kitchen garden the slogan of the science um, school a one science center is there in ambalur because i am nearby the turtikara panchayat turtikara panchayat is the world's number one green village and ambalur village is next to that their slogan is that our waste is our food when we are hearing it we will be irritated sometimes when our food is uh, our waste means how because we can convert the waste into food beautiful flowers beauty and the swachhada of our life that will come out like that if everybody becomes uh, uh, a support hand for uh, the sustainable development of this world we all can help the mother earth to sustain that is what in the 23 slogan is that uh, plant trees use less water and use less electricity this is the slogan for and to end even the future generation end is the plants to end even the future generation this is the slogan of 223 environment day we all are learned people grown up people highly educated and highly professionalized in our life especially as per as per our profession so we can be a model to the people who are in front of us the people who are living around uh, to follow all these things this is my message and my request to my colleagues on this precious day to save our mother earth thank you everyone and a happy environment day to all of you thank you very much uh, thank you madam for sharing your experiences as well as the tips you have given as the day to day practical thing which you are following to protect the environment now i call upon dr j raghavan uh, to share his experience and give some tips for us to protect the environment good afternoon to all of you so today we are celebrating the environmental day so it is not only india throughout the world we are celebrating since 1973 onward now 50 years has been completed so this environment mean which is comprising air water soil 
so this is a major uh, factor so this major factors has been polluted by only human being without human being the environment will be very good condition so since you see the habitat has been happened more than uh, 3000 uh, years before so before the environment quality everything was betterly managed by the nature but now so this is uh, otherwise called as anthropogenic activities we are telling that anthropogenic activities which is mean that the nature is polluted by the human beings so various activities we are starting the industry we are starting the uh, lot of factories or uh, whatever our life states which is directly polluting the environment so that's why government of india and uh, worldwide they are protecting the environment by using the uh, the renewable renewable as well as pollution free environment uh, which is our uh, first aim to protect our nature uh, that way we are doing but nowadays you know that a lot of uh, vehicles which is uh, now converted to the batteries so this is only for diesel and petrol so diesel is a more polluter than the petrol vehicles so very soon maybe the petrol and diesel vehicle will be banned throughout the world so only the battery resource only useful for the uh, transportation methods so here that agriculture also one of the major fact if you see the agriculture practices natural practices is entirely different than the uh, what we are doing now so we are using lot of fertilizers lot of pesticides the fertilizer and pesticide which is always harmful to the soil so not only soil and also it is uh, whatever they are by product if suppose rice they rice and uh, uh, that uh, whatever sugar cane or rice whatever they are planting so that chemical component automatically which will be coming from the soil to plant that so we are indirectly we are consuming the same the chemical components which is leads to lot of problem cancer a lot of problem is coming so this is only by the human being uh, mismanagement so we need to conserve our nature and protect our nature what the nature already given to us that is our main aim thank you thank you very much uh, thank you sir for educating us uh, regarding environmental pollution I'm being a subject expert, and now I call upon Mr. Murider and Section Officer to read the pledge for life. The abbreviation for life is lifestyle environment. I pledge to make any possible changes in my daily lifestyle to protect the environment. I commit to continuously remind. I my friends, my friends, family and others, family and others about the importance of environmentally friendly habits. I plus to serve us an example of how an environment friendly lifestyle can positively impact. people and our planet thank you sir and more videos or videos are also available in the youtube channel of rc kochin including the one the speech of the minister interacting with all the higher education institutions on life now i call upon sri kg joseph section officer to give vote of thanks on to all today is a world environment day this is, we have heard about many people's comments about our daily lives how we will be improve our day to day activities more compatible with our environment so both of us the dr chandra shekhar and dr gandha kumari and dr vidya raghavan given a very good insight to uh, all of us 
so my humble submission is that we have to give more education to our children from the from younger stage to improve the how friendly we will live with our environment and how we can overcome all these kind of hurdles in future and how we can be save our world for better life for better generations so with the, all this thing i express my sincere gratitude and thanks to all of you especially dr dorothy madam dr kesiza onishnan from the sandeshagran dr vijayaraghavan and dr vijaya kumari and all my colleagues thank you very much thank you once again thank you Thank you for watching this video which covers the World Environment Day events at Regional Center Cochin